and welcome back to Assault on Dragon Keep. Joining me this week is Arkin Brony. Hello. And the Greater Airy. Hello, everyone. And today, we're going to be rounding up a whole bunch of side quests in the Dwarven Mines. A couple for Claptrap, and also finishing off post apocalyptic for this section. Now, the thing about My Kingdom for a Wand is that it requires a, an explosive weapon and a shock weapon. Right now, I don't have a shock weapon, so we're heading back to Flame Rock Refuge to, you know, hopefully find a suitable gun. Wait, why does Claptrap keep sending you all of these darn quests? He's already asked you to kill a bunch of dwarves. Next thing you know, he's going to ask you to do your to do his laundry. <laughs> well, it's like he's trying to be a wizard. He's got the hat, but he needs the beard, the wands. Okay. Why choose an honorable weapon when you could buy a gun? And his wizard hat. Yep. You vault hunters. And what else do you need? He needs a cape. He needs uh, I don't know, maybe a staff or variety. I don't know. Rick has actually started playing Borderlands 2 because of it. All I have visions of is him turning into Magic Man at the last second. Alright, so I've got myself a shock sniper rifle, which I guess we'll have to do. To get to the uh, first objective, we're gonna have to go through the entire, pretty much the entire area, so I, I, I'm speeding this up. Badass spider. Went down faster than expected. Yep. I'm not gonna make fun of him. No, he's not to be I'm sorry, I just. I kind of like how it sounds at, at 250% speed. To be honest, the soundtrack kind of has this really crazy beat to it that I kind of like. Oh, you mean it's everything sounds more interesting when sped up? Yeah, but only at this particular spot because I've tried to speed up by. There's the magical golem. Golem. Ah. Max of oh that was quick. What? Yeah, I blew him up and in one hit. It was an explosive shotgun. I I honestly wasn't expecting it to go down that fast either. Oh. So so we blew up the uh, golem and now we gotta find a spider apparently. Which involves running all the way back to the beginning of the area. Great. This just reminds me of that point in uh, DM of the Rings where they start complaining about all the fighting. <laughs> I actually, I'm wondering if Gimli's wife actually left him, or if he was just making a turn of phrase. That's a good question, but that's also a pretty old webcomic. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, so here's our magical spider. Crap! It's growing a shield! If you don't kill the spider with a shock weapon, I won't talk now! Great. Yeah, this is this is where the quest takes a turn for the annoying. Because the magical creatures get much tougher to kill. And the key, the key thing here is that you have to finish them with the, you know, specified weapon. So you can try and whittle them down a bit if you want, but the final blow has to be, you know, what's called for. And this, this shock sniper thing isn't quite optimized for the job. Sorry, but he didn't die from electrocution. You'll have to find another spider. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, he did. He. It died while I was reloading, so I couldn't finish it off with a sniper because of my stupid freaking poison cloud ability. So yeah, we have to do this whole rigmarole again. 
What makes it bearable is that the spider spawns pretty much right there, but... At least you don't have to go all the way across the dungeon again. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to write that off my list of DM abilities. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, how do you imagine this one will get complicated? Explosive and shock weapon at the, weapons at the same time? If only it were that simple. They say orcs, but they're actually trolls. I didn't know there was a big difference. Ah. I... I we're right next to where the magical gold, magical grunt uh, orc should spawn, but we gotta take care of all this first. A warlord? Yeah. These things are always bad news for me. Well, we'll get to that in a minute. It's about to. Yep, there's the Duke of Orc. Here we go. Duke of Orc. This is. Uh, this is not making my day any easier. And he knocked me into the pit of fire, killing me. Well, that went well. At least you don't have to go all the way. <sighs> At least there's that cliff there, yeah. That yeah. Alright. So where were we? Oh right, magical orc. Shooting orc in the face. That wasn't it? <laughs> no. No, no, that wasn't the thing I was looking for. The... The little spot on the minimap shows where the uh, magical orc will be. It comes out of that little hut in the corner. Um. There it is. How tough can you be? He's feeding off the wind's energy! You've gotta kill him with a critical hit! Knock his stupid orc face off! What? Yep, oh you got God. you've got to shoot an invisible enemy and kill it with a critical hit. You have to in the shoot face. An enemy in the head. Yep. He didn't die from a critical hit. Ah! You're gonna have to fight another one. It was so close, but the poison cloud finished him off and not the not the actual Yeah, this is... And he says the line every single time you have to reset, and it gets on my frickin' nerves. Ah! Sometimes I thought... <laughs> that, was, that was my shield that took him out that time. God! I sense this is something you're gonna do. No. I think I'm a bad DM, and then I just examine this and go... God! There you go! They need to give out better quests that aren't annoying to do. Ugh. Do you actually end up finding a mimic, mimic here? Or... Uh, I'm afraid not. Probably in the next section, though. I can tell you that. Yeah. All right, let's get. Because I un I can understand where you're coming from. That every time I see a jolt, it, 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 I, I I can only go, oh god, this is a mimic. All right. So we got the one. Again, I'm here. So I don't know where that leads you. And I should keep doing it. All right. Got a point. Well, everyone knows as soon as the mage gets powerful enough, he goes crazy and builds a dungeon somewhere. Yeah. Uh, so he's got one more side quest, but I want to take care of the crumpets now. And they're on that, you know, hanging platform, which is hanging from that cliff. And I'm having trouble remembering exactly how to get to it. All right, so <laughs> I had to actually look it up, which is why there was a little hop there in the in the video. So, uh, so what you gotta do, the way you get up to that point, is actually just uh, head back to where the old mining equipment was, 
and then uh, instead of a right, hang a left. Of course, you gotta take care of a couple of golems on the way. Is it golem or golem? <sighs> that is a <laughs> that is the great debate of our time. At least they fit their names. Stupid bastards. Sorry. <laughs> that wasn't quite of me. Uh, okay. Alright, so from here, yeah, just jump down and, you know, don't miss. And you get a freaking treasure chest along. That's a nice package deal. Here we have a couple of actually kind of nice sniper rifles. And they're actually better than the uh, Corrosive Sniper I've got right now. I actually have trouble deciding which one I want, because one of them has higher damage. It's the Dull Sniper, but the Hyperion one still has the Corrosive effect. And I think... Uh, yeah, I decided to go with the uh, Hyperion one for Corrosive damage. Because that, you know, elemental damage is always useful, especially with this build. And Hyperion is pretty darn accurate, too. Why are you shooting at the wall? Just to test it. I can't believe you made me eat that. salad! Does the handsome that sorcerer was somehow... No, it uh, wasn't! It was tasty! Own... That's the problem! <laughs> All the respawn points? Oh, I wouldn't... I wouldn't think about that too hard. Honestly. I remember as a kid, I preferred vegetables. Hmm. Alright, so we got all the crumpets now, and we can just take care of one last side quest. For Claptrap, obviously. Let me teach you the ways of magic! The Claptrap's Apprentice. Alright! Follow me! I've got something to show you! Hey, thanks for helping me with this sweet-ass beard and staff, by the way. You know, being a wizard... I'm usually the one asked to do favors for people. Like, make Moxie fall in love with me. Or, hey, give me unlimited power. Or, stop crying and get out of my sight, you stupid robot. <laughs> Having someone do stuff for me is a pretty nice change of pace. Yeah, well, I hope, I'm glad it's appreciated, but what are we doing here? He does have a pretty nice beard. Yeah, it's, 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 it's all pretty epic. My true powers, apprentice. I'm gonna summon an archdemon, then destroy it with my amazing skills. I need you here to Seems clap legit. wildly and tell me Where have I heard this land. before? Ready? <laughs> Come thunder! <laughs> Come lightning! Holy Just crap. What have we done? <laughs> oh my. I hope the great and powerful Claptrap can't be dissuaded. Let me test them against an evil demon! Evil demon. A broom? Yeah! I screwed up the spell. I'll get rid of it. Gods of power, gods of fear. Get this done. Oh, this is funny. Yep. And it gets worse. This is fantastic. Yep. Yep. What the hell? I'm uh, noticing a problem. Oh, good Can you handle these guys while I work on a counter spell? So, who wants to fight infinitely spawning broomsticks? No offense, apprentice, but those who are out of it. And I made them myself. <laughs> this is this is the most awesome reference to the <laughs> to a certain cartoon that I could ever imagine. Well, does prove his power to demonstrate the max green stick is level 33. And then sets it on fire. Hold it! Alright, they're still infinitely spawning, but, you know, they're not too bad right now. If they just, you know, stop spawning, we'd be in business. That sounds like a good idea. 
Wait a minute. Okay, this is looking less ideal. I think he's actively trying to kill him. No, he's just really that bad at this. You gave him the beard. Yeah, I, this is kind of my fault. Something bad happens every time that will teach you to do things through spell, flat trap. So Honestly. Uh, for the love of... You're just lucky I've got my sword explosion gun, Claptrap. So that taking them out is more or less a breeze. But at least they can't get worse. Remember in the first game, people used to talk about hating Claptrap. Uh. And I was kind of alright with him because, you know, when my space and stuff like that. Give me license! Make the adventurer a god! Uh, what the heck? I'm slowed down! I can't run around, that's the whole reason I've been able to survive to this point. Oh no. Okay, and with that, that they stop infinitely spawning this. Finish this once and for all. That looked easy, but all that running around is actually pretty darn intense. I don't see this is lasting. Uh, I've got half a mind to shoot him with an exploding sword, but let's just turn this in. Not even once. I'm the best broom summoner in the history of Cleanomancy! And of course he can teleport. And he's actually not here anymore. That's it. That's it for Wizard Claptrap. Forever? We will never speak of this again. I think so, yeah. And that's actually it for the uh, the Mines of Avarice. We've, we're finally going to move on. It only took three videos. Alright. Just got stuck down in the dwarven section and took. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Man, that section with the dwarves took forever. Worst like... part was I was playing a dwarf. <laughs> right. That, that's... Oh, so you started out there. Yeah. Ah, Dragon Knight Georgians. Welcome to Cleric Zed's Health Emporium. So, now we're in Hatred's Shadow, which is probably, like, the most aggressive name for an area that I could imagine. W what's it called? Hatred's Shadow. Don't die. You need that money, honestly. No, but I need the inventory space so I can keep on looting. Oh, I'm really happy I didn't play this. I know that sounds a bit off, but I've got a bit of a miner's OCD. You need healing badly. I have to immediately pick up everything. Uh. Your inventory gets full. You need to choose. Yeah, found a better pistol though. It's pretty neat. And I decided to go back to you know the two sniper rifles from before. I decided to go back to the. Uh, non-elemental doll one, because, you know, more damage is more damage. Right. 
I'm pretty sure that will never, you know, come back to bite me. Ever. I'm looking at these, you know, class mods, the uh, cleric class mods for the siren, but they're all for, they mainly deal with the healing tree, so it's not really, you know, it's not really for me at the moment. Looking for a healer. So yeah, just You're sell the crap right out of place. everything else. Alright. I know the feeling now is. Don't you hate it when the party tries to be. To, the entire party tries to be. Uh, rogue or ready. some other variant of these? <laughs> I don't think I've had that before. I'm sure that I had a party with nice no heroes except the character. Truth, I, I just started a campaign a couple weeks ago <laughs> because I sat down and said, you know what? I. I really haven't run a, ran a campaign in a while. The sorcerer's tower in sight. I haven't He's railroaded what enough people. You're going to spend people. your reward money yeah. on once you rescue the queen. Oh God! Lots and lots of books and guns. They are not kidding about when they call it hatred shadow. You got to climb all the way up there. Welcome to City Seventeen. <laughs> well, I think that's going to be it for us uh, this time. Uh, this is Newbie Spud signing off, and uh, we'll see you next time. This concludes the Fluttershy episode of this. The what? Fluttershy, the one no one likes. Of uh, this LP. Okay. <laughs>